Welcome back. And here we'll look at the price to earnings ratio and how you can create your own PE dashboard for free to conduct valuation. PE ratio is the current price or the market value of that company per share over its earnings per share. Okay, let's go back to Google Sheets and we'll make a new sheet. We'll go ticker and we're gonna make all of this 36, Roboto. And here we're gonna do meta. We'll put a blue border around this. Okay, move to price. And for this, we don't need to use any FMP. We can just scrape from Google Finance. So here we'll go equals. Google Finance for our ticker, select A2, comma. We're gonna select price and we'll make this dollars. Okay, next we need earnings per share. And for this same thing, equals Google Finance, ticker is A2, comma, attribute is EPS, close parentheses. And we can make this a dollar and reduce to a whole number. A also gonna grab a formula, that in here, so we don't forget. All right, next we can go PE ratio, go equals price divided by EPS. Reduce that to a whole number. Okay, and next we can scrape from FMP if you have it enabled, just to get an idea of where this information is coming from. We're going to sell D3, we'll go equals, We'll transpose, do FMP income statement to A2 for four quarters. Grab this and shrink this down to 10. And next, we want to see what the trailing 12 months are. So in this cell, we'll go TTM equals sum. Grab those, hit OK. We have our trailing 12 month income statement. So for our price, that's just the market price. For our EPS, we have that down here for each quarter. This is gonna represent three months each. So from Q3, 2021, over to Q2, 2022, the most recent quarter. So we add all of those up to get our trailing 12 month EPS represented here. And that leaves us with a PE of 11. So how do we know if this is good or not? Ben Graham would say PE of 15 or less is good. We can also use the Schiller PE index, but you can hop over to this website that gives you the Schiller PE ratio and what the current mean or average is for that. And this data goes back to 1860. And this is from Robert J. Schiller's book, Irrational Exuberance. Robert J. Schiller, Yale University, published in 2000, really has a lot of great data in it. So this tells us that the S&P has a mean of 16.98. So what we can do for our dashboard is say S&P mean, and since this number changes over time, what we can do is scrape from that website that we were just on, the multiple.com slash Schiller dash PE, put this formula into the, our functions bar, and this says if A2 is blank, then return nothing, substitute, I want to index the import HTML from this website. And I want to pull from table one, column two, row two. And how I know that is you can go back to this website, you can right click it and say inspect. And as I hover over the code, I can see what the first table is. And looking at this, the first table is table one and then two, two mean. And that gives us our mean and we can shrink that down to 16. Grab all these, straighten those up, center these. And this is... TTM. And we can show turn grid lines off. And then lastly, we can give ourselves a signal. And for that, we can click this cell, go conditional formatting, custom formula. And we can say if this PE number is greater than or equal to equals E10, then show red. And if it's less than, show green and make it bold. All right. So we know that Meta has a PE of 11. The S&P mean per Schiller is 16. That means that this is advantageous for us, it could mean that it's a value buy and that if mean reversion occurs, then this price will go higher and represent uh, a higher mean. All right, let's test a few other names. Amazon. Hey, Amazon's got a PE of 103, much higher than the mean. Try Tesla. Tesla, PE of 80. Try Oxy, PE of 7. Very nice. And this has been a favorite of Warren Buffett, and you can maybe see why. That's all I have for today. I appreciate it, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.